Um, to be honest with you, I had so many expectations, it was just more overwhelming than any expectation. I couldn't funnel it down. I was like, all right, they're going to have us take the mask off. It could be this, it could be that. But it just ended up being a, a run through. I'm still burning, but <laughs> it's great. A little bit, a little bit. I think it's more of a camaraderie thing for me. It's not so much as a, you know, displacement of myself from everyone else. I just like to get involved with everyone. I'm a social person, so uh, sizing everyone up. You can kind of tell, you know, it's like, oh, this guy's going to be competition or this guy's going to be competition. You know, you always had that. I guess that's the only thing that I feel like I'm separated by is just my character, you know, big heart, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, you know, tunnel vision, you know, I would like to win, but, you know, I'm here for the camaraderie of the Army, you know, that's what I love, I love this stuff, I love to learn, love to train, I mean, yeah, it sucked to go in the gas chamber, but at the same time, when I come out, it's like I feel better, you know, I've done something that most people wouldn't voluntarily do, and really, I did volunteer to come here. To be completely honest with you, it is difficult. I am a man, I am married, I have three children, I'm also in college, and along with eight also orders, my time is really, really short. Any little increment I have, pretty much, I have to try to set aside for something other than, you know, I'm exchanging things. You know, if I'm training for this, I'm putting family aside and college and work. It's just a juggle, you know, constant juggle. I'm constantly just juggling my life, and uh, I made it here, so not tearing me down too bad. I really pushed hard. I might have pushed a little too hard. Uh, I love to work out. That is just something that it's almost addicting. You start, you start working out doing PT, and it's just like you just can't stop. You know, you you get in the gym, and if you miss a gym day, you're like, man, you feel like, you, like you need to get there, in a the hurry. The finish line, by for sure, the finish line is motivating me. 
that, that light at the end of the tunnel. I was feeling good till a minute ago. <laughs> uh, well, they had us uh, do one of our warrior tasks and drills. We had to get a seal on our gas mask in nine seconds. I got a good seal, and then we had to go to mop four, and they took us in the gas chamber and smoked us a little bit to make sure our seal was good. My seal was good. I got a little, my uh, legs weren't the best seal though. Got a little, legs burn a little bit, but it was good training. Build a little confidence in my gear. Uh, I feel really good in, in a gas environment now, or better at least. Uh, I mean, as far as just, I'm a really motivated individual, whatever I put my mind to or whatever task I put myself to, I just, I want to excel at it the best I can. I don't want to give it 50%, I want to give it 110%, whatever I do. Um, so whether it's putting my mind to my grades at school or putting my mind to my uh, warrior task and drills, PT, anything like that, I just give it 110% all the time. Honestly, the fun out of it. I, th I think this is some of the most exciting events I've, uh, I've gone through. It's a lot of the uh, basic training stuff, and it's uh, getting to go through them again. I mean, honestly, it's, you have to set the example. I have a, uh, two soldiers back and three soldiers back in the rear who uh, I made one of them compete at the command level. And she thought it was hilarious when uh, they told me I had to compete at the command level as well. But I took it as what it was. It's, you know, I've got to do what I've got to do to prove that, you know, if I put you up to something, I'm going to do it as well and have fun with it and try the best that I can. That's sort of what you do in a restaurant. You know, you, you, your servers go out to the table and they take care of customers. You've got to do the same thing as a restaurant owner. You can't just sit in the back and enjoy the wine or, you know, enjoy your free time. You have to go in there and get involved, get your hands dirty, you know, make food come out of the restaurant. So whatever your people are doing, you've got to do as well. A lot, honestly. Everything I do is, uh, has to do with my daughters. I have two daughters, my little five-year-old and eight-year-old. And although they're upset that they're missing Monsters, Inc. with, uh, with me, they came out this weekend. They, you know, they enjoy me being in the Army. I always ask them, do you still want me to do this? Whenever you want me to stop doing this, just tell me and, and I'll stop. So that's what I have on them. They, they love seeing me in the uniform. Every time I go visit them, they, they definitely like seeing me in the uniform. Um, honestly, if, if anybody gets the opportunity to do this, um, I wish they would put more emphasis on this. It's a great competition. It's, it's events that you're just not used to doing every day. Um, so it really pushes you. And I wish there was a lot more competition at the command level, at unit level, and there was a lot more training involved in it. I think soldiers would benefit from this and would refresh, like I said, a lot of the things we learned in basic training.